Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. And today I'm going to have a look at the Celestron Astromaster EQ3 mount, but the same applies to the EQ2. And uh, it's this is the one that you get as standard with, like the, for example, the Celestron Astromaster 114 or 130. And it's in relation to an issue that you might find with the right ascension adjustment. By that I mean this here, which is what you normally use when tracking the stars. And so to explain a bit better the issue that you might find, I'll just turn it around a minute, excuse me. So, that's it. So what you may find is that sometimes you'll, you'll turn this but it's not really gripping very tightly and you can't get it to move and um, the right ascension that is and so what you do is where it tightens on here just remove that again and you can just see there there's a little groove a little slot there in in the bar that rotates to adjust the right ascension. And here you'll notice a little screw which tightens on in, inside that and there you have a nice secure fit hopefully. And if you want you can actually use a screwdriver as well if you don't want to do it thumb tight. And so that, that is nicely in place but you're turning it and still it's not moving, so you're thinking what's going on here? You can do it without any weights on, but these you can't see, but just out of camera the, the weights are on this and it just won't won't move, just a, a slight bit. And so what you need to do is to engage the gears a bit more firmly and on the opposite side you'll notice just next to the motor the little tension nut there that you can screw on a bit tighter and that helps, that's what on the, that one there, the, the lower one, and it helps engage the gears a bit better. And there, hey presto, it's moving. And so basically what you do when moving the telescope into position and you want to move it quickly, you can slacken that off and it moves nice and freely. And um, the declination one that's just out of camera as well, like the same applies to that. And then so once you then get it in position, free tighten it. And you can do your fine adjustments. As easy as that. One more issue that you might find, you'll, you'll notice I've got the motor drive on this version and it's moving very freely in manual mode. But sometimes when you first put the motor on, or it's straight out of the box, the motor might be engaged by screwing down that little thumb, thumb screw the same as on the other side and that, that engages the motor with that bar. And so once you've got your stars in position and you want to leave it and let it track, then leave that engaged. But when it comes to then doing some manual adjustments, it won't move because that is locked in place. So if you then want to move, you move that manually again, excuse me, slacken off that nut there, not too far, or else they'll fall off, and then you're good to go again. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out the links in the description below.